Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Damien from Droneworks Ireland here in Galway. Um, we are DJI consumer and newly appointed enterprise dealers for Ireland. Um, and today I'm going to talk to you about an enterprise product. Um, enterprise is a branch of DJI which specializes in specific type of drones separate to the consumer. So today I'm going to talk to you about Mavic 2 Enterprise Jewel. Now we've all heard about the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro but this one is, is extra special and uh, I suppose in some ways you could call it maybe a search and rescue drone. So I'll go through it and I'll just show you what it's about and what's in it. Um, so we're getting the main, um, you have an option of getting them with the standard controller. We are going for the smart controller with it. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, Crystal Sky screen, high quality. Use them on the Mavic 2 Pro and I use them on the Mavic 2 Zoom. I couldn't be without them to be honest. So that's your, that's your controller that comes with it. The device itself, you can see the box, how everything is laid out. Um, and I'll take the drone out next. So this is called the DJI Enterprise, Mavic 2 Enterprise Jewel. So it looks very similar to the Pro or the Zoom. We'll open it out. You'll probably no may notice the color difference here for the Enterprise and we take the gimbal cover off yes and what you're finding here is this is the difference this is one of the big differences it's the lens it's the camera so it has a dual thermal and color rgb camera in in one gimbal you get the thermal and you get the standard color camera in one gimbal which is phenomenal and it's the smallest platform DJI have for this product. There's a, what's called a self-heating battery, different to the standard Mavic 2 batteries, uh, a bit more expensive, but they're geared for low heat situations. We have tested the standard battery in, in it, but it will give you the feedback that it's not suitable or not, not uh, applicable to it. So I don't use them. I wouldn't advise anybody to use a standard battery uh, with it, I'd use a self-heating Mavic 2 Enterprise battery. So, you have what's called the Mavic 2 uh, Enterprise and you have the Mavic 2 Enterprise Jewel. So the difference is the lens, uh, the thermal RGB and is, is, in, is in the Jewel. The Enterprise has everything else the same and it looks identical and we have all of these little items here and I'll put the three of them out and I'll go through the three of them individually. Um, the first one I'll probably start on would be the beacon. So it's an omnidirectional beacon which means it can be seen from all directions. And all of these little accessories, if you want to call them that, all fit here. So they're adaptable for it. You see where there's a scart and fittings. So you fit your beacon in. It screws down and the scart is accepted into it. So that's your beacon. What would you use that for? Search and rescue would use it. They'll use the thermal, they'll use the color camera, they'll use the beacon to find out where it is. If they're, if they're looking for somebody, the person that's on the ground may see the beacon. So we'll take off the beacon. You can see. So your scart. So that's the beacon. Next one up is a major advantage for... A lot of different reasons. Um, it's the spotlight. Very simple. Again, it goes on. This spotlight is actually quite strong. It's a, a loom spotlight, 
and it has a lot of power. Search and rescue, searching for something. Um, you can move the light around. You can have it in certain directions. And all of this is obviously controlled through the controller. You can turn on the light through your controller, turn it off. Um, you would just activate it and turn it off. It uses 50% of its power on the ground and then when, when it increases, when, the alt when you get up into altitude, it's 100% it uses. Uh, we have sold quite a number of these and I'll tell you who's buying them. A lot of, in a lot of cases, farmers that are checking stock. They may have a lot of ground to cover. They may not have all day to cover it. And they're using the thermal, they're using the light, and they're using this little baby over here, which is serious, it's a speaker. Now, they can record and they can pre-record onto this, or anybody can pre-record onto it, and play back while flying. So in some cases, farmers are recording dogs barking, and they're recording uh, dog whistles, where the dog is up there and they're controlling the dog with the drone. Um, the other side of it is they can actually record while the drone is a kilometer away uh, whatever they want to put on it and play it back through the speaker and they're very they're quite loud there's a good sound off it uh, and I, I notice with farmers they're highly educated when it comes to these guys will walk in that say Damien I want a DJI Mavic uh, Enterprise Jewel. Or they'll walk in and say, I want a DJI Mavic Enterprise. Some of them don't bother with the thermal, some of them do. Obviously there's big price differences in them and they're, they're, they're not a consumer product. So the awareness is, is, is serious out there of, uh, of um, what's available or what, what can be used. And I suppose, Farmers are trying to use technology that um, helps them uh, to make life a bit simpler. I mean, if a guy is working during the day, he wants to come home in the evening time and he wants to check stock and he has uh, common edge on a hill, a couple of hundred acres or thousand or whatever, or even standard to, uh, to hundred acres of land to check. This is this baby is, is doing it all as well as search and rescue or SAR as you'll hear people say. So this is a that's the speaker. Again, it's screwed off. Put it down there. So you get a feel of it. That's that's what it's about. It has all the obstacle avoidance. Again, back, front, top. Uh, it has your SD section for your SD card if it's in here you can record and video or just take your photographs or watch it live and obviously if you're checking something it'll be live um, USB cable or point you have your manuals uh, chargers that's a uh, good high quality cable for a connection from the drone to your laptop or whatever, USB, and also to charge, recommend it, if I can get this, that's a two pin, that's, what, that's how they come. So this would be, when you're charging your, your uh, smart controller, it's recommended that you charge it with the plug, rather than charge it with adapter um, there is a point on the adapter as well to charge gives a quicker charge through the standard plug this is your adapter for charging your batteries comes with one self-heating battery um, you can buy through Dromeworks Ireland you can buy uh, charging hubs so that, that would be a charger. Um, and then we have other bits and pieces, extra propellers, propellers on it, 
uh, charging cable but this device um, is a serious piece of kit um, and as an enterprise dealer for DJI we supply them we're the only enterprise dealer in Ireland and we stock all the enterprise products and you can check out our website to see what's available what we do um, and we also demo them on site in our offices in Galway and we hire we hire all types of drones uh, from enterprise down to consumer on a weekly basis uh, so thanks for listening today thanks for um, joining us on our YouTube channel. We try our best to get some videos out as regularly as possible and especially videos of interest that might be of interest to customers. Um, we get great feedback on them so I um, appreciate your, the business and thank you.